Well, it was a destructive category four storm when it made landfall on Mexico Beach. But how did the storm intensify from a category one to a category four storm so quickly? Let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Craig Setzer. And it seemed like it was Monday. It was off the coast of Cuba, Craig. Yeah, yeah. And it was a, a strengthening tropical storm. Now, the track was spot on by the National Hurricane Center. But even though they were calling for intensification and at times rapid intensification, nobody really anticipated it being as strong as it was, nearly Category 5. It was moving over warmer water there. There is very warm water in the northern Gulf of Mexico, warmer than normal. But that alone wasn't enough to make it very, very strong. And in fact, it was moving away from the deep deepest ocean heat content that was in the central and southeast Gulf of Mexico. And it's a little bit tricky and it's something we don't think of all the time, but it was really what was going on high up in the storm that made it strengthen so much. So here's the water vapor loop from uh, the storm's track as it approached the coast there, moved to the northeast. Lots of things moving here. These are basically the motions in the middle and upper parts of the atmosphere. And one thing that jumps out, this large, deep trough over the western U.S. And you can see the steering winds there, which picked up the storm and moved it on to the north northeast. One thing the models did a very bad job with was picking up this feature down here, upper level low. And look what's going on. These arrows are going that way. These arrows are going that way. And this is high up, the top part of the, the, the uh, hurricane uh, levels here. And those arrows going different directions were literally stretching the top of the storm apart. So they were allowing the storm to basically ventilate itself, kind of like a chimney with a big fan on top of it, sucking the air up. So while it was over warm water, the top of the storm was being pulled apart, allowing the middle of the storm to go up very, very quickly. If we conceptualize it kind of in a sideways view here, the, the basic understanding of hurricanes is surface winds flow into the center, the winds in the middle go up, of course, and then the top winds, they go out. And it was that pattern of that stretching of the top of the storm that really boosted those upper level winds and kind of sped up the whole system here and really helped the storm strengthen. It's a tricky thing to catch that type of intensification. Of course, uh, research and new model developments will include that type of scenario for future forecasts. Back to you. All right, Craig, thank you very much.